While Facebook just kept growing, you may have missed the comeback of the hypercolor shirt, sort of, and the NASA plan to check out how this whole universe thing got started. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the clues to the origin of life might lurk within huge asteroids, while who knows, maybe life will end with this latest discovery that bee sperm is killed by pesticides. Pretty much what we thought. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is hunting one of the blackest objects in our solar system, the asteroid Bennu. OSIRIS-REx's primary science goal is to grab a sample of asteroid Bennu and return it to Earth for analysis. But before the spacecraft swoops in to snag a sample and return home, the OSIRIS-REx is going to use its visible and infrared spectrometer to see if it contains any organic materials. If it does spy some, it would suggest that early life may have arrived on our planet from somewhere far away in the galaxy. If that's true, then maybe we aren't alone as we think we are. All the cool kids out there will remember the glory of hypercolor shirts. Hypercolor clothing. And the agony when your stupid big sister put it in the dryer to die. But now a new $500 shirt aims to do something similar, except this thing is reacting to air pollutants, specifically carbon monoxide, radioactivity, and particle pollution. All bring out this funky geometric pattern from sensors that activate heat pads. So this one can't go in the dryer either, I'm guessing. And finally, this video from Japan shows us what happens when a volcano starts erupting with the extra fun of a thunderstorm. This is a thing that happens with volcanoes, apparently. Incidentally, Thunder Volcano is my karaoke name. <laughs>